Okay, hopefully the audio um, isn't too loud on the game side, but uh, fuck it. Um, yeah, this is Tomato Clinic. We're just gonna get started. So far, it's not too in the way, but the have webcams in the way I'll move. Name, move, and pronouns. I'll do that. On the darkest possible. The white hair. Sure, obviously. Looks like I can't change the comments, so I'm fine. Um, Joy fills out her form with a smile. There, got the form filled out. I really should have got that done before actually coming here. Looks like nobody else is here quite yet though, so I'm safe. It's weird that there aren't any employees here yet, either. Let's move that up a little more. A little louder? That should be fine. Would it be rude to just yell to see if anybody's in? Mm -hmm. I mean, if nobody's here, then nobody will think it's rude, right? A short young man who's distinctly displeased comes to the counter. <laughs> He's wearing a jacket with what seems like a tomato patch sewed in on it. Who are you and why are you yelling? I don't think they have like um, a, a dinghy or something. Sorry, I didn't think anyone was in. Hmm. <laughs> and why the heck did you yell? I don't know, I get nervous in unfamiliar situations. Wait, what? I'm Joy, here for the tour. Um, This is the tomato clinic, right? Oh heck, is that, yep. Um. So you decided to spray now? You took a shit, didn't you? What? Okay. <laughs> Just calm down for a sec, let me check the calendar. Oh, it does start today. I was worried I screwed that up. Oh, okay. I didn't see any other students here, so I thought that maybe I had the wrong place. That's because you're the only one who signed up. Oh. Uh. Okay. Nope, not joking. It's just you. Mary said we didn't get any other applicants. Who's Mary? Hey boss, she should be here any minute. A young woman in a shirt that also had a tomato patch on it suddenly jumps out. Welcome, you must be here for the tour. What? Where did you come from? Boss, you're going to scare away our only applicant if you keep jumping out like that. I see that tooth right there. I see it. Wait, I forgot to ask. Do you have your application form? Yes, right here. Mm, so your name is Joy. Yes, that's me. Well, my name is Mary. Nice to meet you. Got... Um... De Gakuto? Did you introduce yourself yet? I don't know. I'll call him this guy. I would have, but you decided to jump and attack me. 
guy. There's no excuse to be rude. Hmm. Name's Gaikuto. <laughs> um, nice to meet you, I guess. It's nice to meet both of you. I'm excited to be here. You know what we do here, then? Uh, I did some research. Ah. Uh, English. I did some research ahead of time, but there wasn't much um, information on the website. It's a blood donation clinic, right? God. Okay. Why did you come here for a tour of the idea makes you uncomfortable? Yes, yeah, this is a blood donation clinic. Yes, both me and Murray are vampires. Got a problem with that? No, I, I just haven't been to a place like this before. I'm a bit nervous, that's all. <laughs> it don't be so mean. There you go. That should be better. Uh, and don't worry about it, Joy. We're pretty new to this, too. Actually, you're our very first Tori. A Taurus. How is that supposed to be reassuring? Anyone? Uh, no point in talking out here. Let's head inside so I can talk a bit about what we do. I just want to follow her. Marie disappeared as quickly as she came. You can put your backpack down behind the counter if you don't want to carry it. Oh, that'd be... Before George can finish, Guy leaves as well. Great. Thanks. I guess I should follow them in. Yeah. Go ahead to the next room, but for some reason it's empty. It looks like a little cafe. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, so what do you think? Mm, what do I think of what? This room. Um, it's nice. It feels kind of homey. It's a bit different than what I expected, though. Different. Well, it looks kind of like a cafe. Oh, that's because it is a cafe. I thought this was a blood donation clinic. But it also functions as a cafe. So you donate blood and then um, get coffee. And I guess it's nice. Um, when I started this place, my goal was to make it a place where people can relax. Blood donations sound really scary, right? But they are scary. Adding vampires just makes it scarier. But no, that's not... It's okay, I know most humans are afraid of us. That's part of why I started this place. I wanted to make a place where humans could get to understand vampires a bit better. And that's why I prepared... Uh, a menu? A quiz on vampires. Very short, so don't worry, and if it's okay, you get uh, things wrong. We just want to check what people's general knowledge of vampires is. Just shout my name when you're done. Hmm. Where does she... I guess I should fill out this quiz though. Doesn't look too long, so I should be okay. Oh, it's multiple choice. Where do vampires get most of their nutrients? What? Not sure why that's even a question. Let's check out the next question. Uh, if it was Twilight, they would sprinkle, sparkle. I mean, I've definitely read that before in a book. So it's probably true, right? 
Next one. Oh. I assume garlic. Mm, did this smell too nice? Yeah, let's keep it moving. Go on to the next question. I don't think they sleep. I'm not sure about this one, but I'm going with it. Next question, the last one. Uh, what can vampires turn into bats? That's what makes me think, but traditionally people say vampires turn into bats. Which, yeah. Anyway, that's all the questions. Um... Okay. I should call for Marie. Marie pops out who knows where. Um, you finished drawing? I mean, yes, I'm finished. Great, let me just check your answers then. So... Why don't we go through the questions together? You got the first one right. That's good. We do get most of our nutrients from blood. It's okay for me to ask. How does it work exactly? Hmm. Give me a really lengthy explanation if I get too into it. I like to think of how you eat food and your body turns that into energy for you. Right? For us, we do the same just with blood. Now we can eat regular food too, we don't process it well. It's kind of like junk food to us. Oh, so it does really give you nutrients when you need it. Exactly, I'm glad you get it. So for question two, er, we don't turn into dust in the sun. That would be really inconvenient. Of course, sorry that was stupid of me. I wouldn't say stupid, maybe a bit silly. You can't believe everything you read in books. Mm, I guess not. We vampires get sunburned if we're in the sun too long. How long is too long? Well, it depends on the vampire. Most of us will get bad sunburns in less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. Do you just stay inside all the time? Now we just use sunscreen with very high SPF. And make sure to cover our skin as much as possible when heading out in the day. All of the windows at Tomato Clinic are especially made to cut UVs too. This way we can enjoy the daylight without the sunburns. I thought vampires liked the night. I uh, know, we just only forced to only go out at night before. Now we have modern technology to help us. Oh, well, that's nice. Right. Let's look at the next question then. We're fine with garlic. Oh. Sure, we all have our likes and dislikes, but it's not like we are definitely allergic to it or anything. So garlic doesn't scare you or anything. Only the idea of having garlic breath. Is the answer the cross them? Nah, the answer is none of the above. There's no one, one thing you can use to ward away vampires. Like how there's no one thing you can use toward humans. And why do people think that stuff like a cross and garlic will work? I think it's just one of those weird urban legends. After all, it's very easy to come up with things like this. If you don't know any vampires in real life, yeah. Moving on to the sleeping question. Do you really think we don't sleep? Do you? Of course we do. Vampires are still alive despite what some people say. Which is why we need food and sleep just like any other living thing. Do vampires just sleep in beds? Oh. Vampires get aches and pains, just like humans. So honestly, coughing would be pretty uncomfortable. 
Oh, I guess that's true. Now for the last question. We can't actually turn into bats. Oh. You can't? Nope. How would that even work? We actually can't turn into anything. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a stupid question. Answer. Um, no questions are stupid. But the quiz said, uh... That was just Guy. I think he was annoyed. He thought the quiz was a stupid idea. I think it's a nice way to teach people about vampires, though. What did you think as our first human test, uh, test taker? I thought it was nice. Yeah. Um, it helped correct a lot of my assumptions. I'm glad. I'll be sure to let Guy know, too. I asked him to write a question, and he was very annoyed about it. I'm sure he'll be happy to know his work was worthwhile. Well, he... He didn't seem very cheerful earlier. But that's just how he is, don't worry. Anyway, let's check your score. You got one out of five questions right. Oh, that's pretty bad. Don't worry about it. I'll give you a chance to try again later, too. Okay. Hopefully you'll remember the answers next time. Now that we've got our icebreaker done though, we can start one of our vampire cultural experiences. What? For the tour. Okay. Didn't think it was going to be all quizzes, did you? Honestly, I wasn't really sure what I'd sign up for. But well, soon you can find out. Okay. What is this? Pizza. Oh, okay, I can save. It's awesome. Uh, stay right there. It will return. Uh, yeah. Or a guy has at least some activities. Um, I'll go get him. Yes, she. <laughs> what? How you walk by and make that face? <laughs> Look at old grandma. <laughs> Be curious, cute, and then you're after. Eh. The general atmosphere is relaxing. Um, okay. Um, what did you expect? It all to be rat satin and bats? So the look and just to display this earlier. Um, oh. Then what were you expecting? Well, maybe I was kind of expecting something like that. But more candles and chandeliers, maybe. Chandeliers, they're vampires, not Victorians. Yeah. Typical. Yeah, no, sorry to bite your head off. Figure speech. I know there's a lot of weird stereotypes about us. That's why Marie set this clinic up and why I'm helping out. It's really nice of you. Mmm. How'd the quiz go anyway? I did okay. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Well, I didn't do great. But I'll be sure to do better next time. Well, good luck with that. Uh, we'll save again. And... Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna probably like end it here so we're getting close to that 20 minute mark. But um hopefully y'all enjoyed this and uh see y'all in the next one. <laughs>